Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. We're gonna do a thrift haul today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, so this is later on in the same day as yesterday, but you know, I gotta do multiple videos a day so I can have a break and get some work done in other rooms. I gotta start pricing and packing and getting Christmas stuff ready to go to the booth. But I'm excited because this is the fun stuff I found at the Badwell. So <laughs> I found a few things at the Badwell. First of all, I found this, this watering can. So it's a good one, it's brass. Um, guess we'll be doing another brass cleaning video because it's clearly seen better days you know so it needs a little bit of a uh, spit and polish so that's going to stay in here for now and then look at you guys okay so this was a dollar 99 for this one and it's the swedish candles that have the bells at christmas time my grandma had it was either my grandma or my mom it had this exact same angel and it spins and it hits the bells and it goes ding, ding, ding. I have the candles for it and everything. I was so excited. I was like, oh, this is bringing back some memories. It's not even open. It's not open. It's like new old stock, y'all. Because I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not, it's not open anywhere. This is from the 70s, I think. I mean, based on the image on the front. Seventies or eighties, because I clearly remember this, this little bell thing, this little bell configuration thing. But anyway, got that. And then this is what I was talking about. So I was going through the store and I, I was at one section and I found this piece. And I went, oh, look how cute it is. The little creamer with the blue and the white. And it's, it's made in Japan and I can't read the. It was $2.99. I can't read the hallmark on the bottom. If somebody else knows this hallmark, please let me know. I'll be doing some more research. Um, but I'm literally unpacking this right now, so I haven't done any research on it yet. But I, I walked by it, and I didn't pick it up. And then, a little further down, I saw this. And I went, oh, there's the sugar bowl that goes with the creamer. Right? And I'm looking at it and I'm like, is it cracked or anything? No, it's in really good condition. Well, this has got a different tag on it. Made in Japan. Blue onion? Blue onion? I don't know. So this was $6.99 for this one. Blue onion or something. And I didn't pick it up. And then I'm in a completely different aisle. And I found this. And then I went, well, now I got to pick it up, right? No cracks, no chips. Also the blue onion, this is $4.99. So they went by size, the creamer $2.99, $4.99, and then the sugar bowl was the big one. And that was $6.99. I had, and I had to go back. It was like, meant to be for all three of them to be together. I don't know anything about this. They got a rubber band holding it in place. Ooh, somebody was using it. Oh, it smells like coffee and like a flavored coffee of some kind. It smells good. No, good in there. I mean, I got to wash it and clean it up, but I mean, it's got a good coffee smell. Dirty. It is dirty. But I couldn't believe, I mean, I've got new old stock angel party chimes with rotating horses from Sweden. And then this whole set, let's take, let's take a look at the inside of the sugar bowl. Also a rubber band around it to keep it from rattling. No smell. 
I just put a rubber band around it to keep it from rattling. That's so cute. What a good idea. I have to steal that for some pieces that I have lids. Just put a rubber band around the inside lip. I mean, it's still rattling a little bit, but look at the detail on it. It's so pretty. Yeah, so I don't know anything about it, but you can see why. And then they gave me this bag. I'm just going to have anything else. Nope. Nope. And they gave me a Marshall's bag because I'm like, mm, okay. But I had to take it home because all three pieces were meant to be together. I'm like, oh, okay. I got to take the whole set. I don't know what I'm going to charge for it. I just know blue and white is still loved. I mean, you either love the blue and white or you hate the blue and white, right? So blue and white, there's the Delft blue, there's blue flow, there's blue transfer wear, there's whatever this is. And, um, yeah, it's, it's still a thing. So there's a lot of people who still collect the blue and white. I was one of them when I started out collecting vintage pieces. I was probably like 12 when I bought my first blue willow piece. So I bought blue willow and I was collecting that for a while. I no longer collect the blue willow and I, but I still have a love for the blue and white. I think if you love the blue and white, you're always going to love the blue and white. You know what I mean? So I do like the blue flow still. This is super pretty. This looks like a transfer wear. Is that a transfer wear? Do you think? I think it might be hand painted. I'm going to have to do some research. This looks painted up here, but this pattern looks like it's probably a transfer wear. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to find out that it's like from the 1990s or something and it's not worth crap. But I got so excited to see a full set together that hadn't been damaged at Badwell because you know how they just toss stuff. And I don't know why they don't keep sets together. Like people, when they donate their dishes, they're donating sets of dishes and they're getting separated. And I did notice that there are a couple locations, I think the one up in Cambridge, where they are now packaging sets together. And I think like that's so smart because... If you're looking for a set of china and this is the one you're looking for, you want the whole thing and I don't know. But at least keep the cup and saucer together if you've got a teacup collector who donated all their teacups to Badwell, they would get separated and then they you'd have to go looking for the saucer and looking for the cup and then they charged you two ninety nine for one and two ninety nine for the other one and you had to make your own set. And that was super frustrating. And then I, I mean, I'd go to other thrift stores and they kept the sets together and I'm like, smart, smart. But at least they've stopped covering the hallmarks too. So that was the other thing that Badwill was doing was they would intentionally put the price tag over the hallmark. And I think they didn't realize that dealers and collectors were going to peel those suckers off. Like they're going to peel them because they want to see who is the manufacturer because there are so many dupes and so many um, reproductions that they, they want to know. They want to see that back stamp. And I think they're getting smarter now because people are like, we're just peel it off. <laughs> we have no shame. We want to see what's underneath there. But anyway, thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate every time you guys come visit me. I appreciate it. So as always, happy junkin', you guys. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.